Hello, Veteran Owen 2 in here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Dragon Quest 4. In the last episode, I already I don't know. I recruited some, yeah, I recruited this guy from freaking um from uh, what was it, Riverton? There's a feller down in some dwarf town someplace, wants into the priesthood, and seeking himself a church to run. The only one, they, they only just done got started with the chapel year. Reckon this town might be in the market for a minister, if y'all catch my drift. Meaning, whatever. Okay. A town full of dwarves. Hmm. It's a good clue. The only town I can think of with a whole shit ton of dwarves is Rose Hill. So where is this guy? Are you the priest? Yep, we'll tell him about it. So let's see if something changes if we go back. Yeah, and if I if I sound a little stuffed up right now, it's because my allergies. It is allergy season. I just popped some fucking Benadryl. Although by the time you see this video, it'll probably be October. And wow! Holy crap! Yeah, I mean, I could say the same thing. This building I'm looking at in front of me definitely wasn't here five minutes ago. For it was five minutes ago, they added on to it. Wait a minute. Yeah, I do. Archaeologist? Archaeologist? Oh, okay. Really? So there's somebody in a casino, huh? <laughs> Sounds like Maya. Once upon a time, a troop of wandering minstrels came to the great and illustrious city of uh, Pioneeria. The monument the young sultan of Pioneeria set eyes upon one of the young maidens of the troop. He fell deeply in love with her. The young sultan's pharaoh's viziers were strongly opposed to his marrying beneath him. But his father, the previous sultan, approved the match and the wedding went ahead. The marriage between two people of such different backgrounds inspired the citizens of Pioneeria and the city grew mighty and prosperous. Hmm. Okay. What's this? A new item shop. 
And we can buy a bunny tail, a gold bracer, and a lucidia shard. I still don't know what the fuck this does. <laughs> One of these days I'll actually look that up. I don't remember what it does. Okay. Nothing special there. Or, eh, I'll talk to him anyways, just in case he has something to say. And he does. Well, maybe I should actually talk to him from behind the altar. And maybe he has something to say, I don't know. No, okay, never mind. What you doing up here, man? Arr, the folks be flocking to the town now. So we're building us a beautiful pioneeratorium. The bigger the old place grows, the more voyagers will make port here, see? A pioneeratorium's a place for such wanderers to rest their weary bones. Arr. Okay, keep going on with what you're doing, I guess. Uh-oh. I don't see anybody outside. What's going on in here? What? A world of their own? Is she giving him the silent treatment? I mean, what's going on there? Yeah, you know, since the cha town changed again, I should probably do something along the lines of this. What? Really? Four more treasures? Holy cow. A mini metal. Look at that. Damn. I guess they restocked all the, uh, the pots and barrels in this place then, huh? Ooh, another one. Hey, alright. I like finding those. Rough. Rough, 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 rough. So, is there one more? Okay, one more treasure to find. Where are you, treasure to find? Not around that building. Hey. Atmospheric temperature? Uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Have you investigated the bookshelf in the house in the northeast part of the town? Yes, I have, actually. Yeah, I've read that book. I have, indeed. I haven't been in that building yet. Come on, man, where's this last treasure? Don't know where it is, man. Oh, unless it's right over here. There we go. See his strength. Alright, so what the hell is in here? Uh... Why is he hiding over- oh. Hi. Can't rightly say if it's true, but I heard tell of some critter with a whole bunch of legs down in the jailhouse in Straight Bale. Hmm. Okay. It's empty? What the hell, man? Well, hey, whatever. We got another mini metal, so that's good. 
Wow, you know, I think I should probably check all the the houses. Because I think at some point, uh, when, I think right now the it's at stage 4, and I think stage 5 is the final stage. And... I'm thinking, like, these treasures might become unavailable, like, after a certain point. So yeah, I'm gonna be checking everything here. Yeah, I didn't know this stuff was gonna get restocked. Yeah, yeah, I already heard this already. Not really sure what it means. Try not to sneeze. Oh, man. Sometimes I'm trying to sneeze just to get it out, and then, like, it feels like I gotta sneeze, and then it, I, I don't sneeze. Oh, man, that's the worst kind right there. Fucking allergies. Allergies are so fucking stupid anyways. I mean, think about it. It's, it's your body's reaction to something that really isn't going to hurt you. At least the allergies that I have, I mean, come on. Hay fever? That kind of shit? It's not, that shit's not gonna kill ya. Or at least, you know, it's not gonna kill me. Never has. But it always makes me feel like crap. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, you know, if you feel like crap, why are you recording? Well, you know, having allergies and being sick are like two different things. It's not the same as being sick. Yeah, it's annoying, but... I mean, when you're sick, you feel like shit. With allergies, it's more of an annoyance than anything. It's like a really bad itch that doesn't like going away. That's about it, really. That's the best way I can describe it. Alright, so... I think that's it. I think I've got everything. Alright, so... We had a clue about something, somebody or something in straight bail, so let's go there. And he said something about the, um, the jail area, I guess. Let's check it out. Wow, there's a weird colored cure slime in there. The crime will eaten and run and no looked on too kindly around here. Uh, whatever. I don't think we're gonna give a shit about what you say. My goodness! Is it a dream? Fantastic, the doors open. Mary Curie, huh? Yeah, let's tell her about it. Yay. Okay, who was just talking just now? Was that the guard over here? Whatever. Okay, that's done. So now we want to head to, I believe, Endor. Said something about a casino or somebody in the casino. happy. Why don't you settle down in, in this town? Or I guess she could probably settle down in, uh, in Tyrion eventually. There will be a casino there. Nah, I haven't won shit. Actually, I have, but 
I haven't done anything lately. Yeah, you'd be good friends with Maya then. Yeah, let's tell her about it, even though she doesn't deserve to hear about it. Yes, toodle do. All right, so Archie Ologist, I've got him. I don't know what, Mr. Ned. There's a horse. Okay, so apparently I need two more people: a fucking horse and uh, Johnson. Whoever that is, I have no idea who that is. Maybe I'll get clues about where they are if I go back and uh, talk to those two. I just recruited. No, I didn't want to go up the stairs. Go back down. Wait a minute. Is that Laurel? I guess not. If it is Laurel, they aren't acknowledging that it's Laurel. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know why I keep leaving the town to zoom. It's like a knee-jerk re I don't know what game I was playing, what Dragon Quest game I was playing where you can't zoom inside the town, but it seems like that habit is kind of stuck for some reason. I don't know why. Ooh, there's a horse over there. I didn't see that before. Maybe I missed that. As a matter of fact, maybe I should check the old uh, nose for treasure here. Three. Wow. All right. Well, I'll get to that in a second. Hello. Yeah, I already know about the tail. Thanks, anyways, though. Wow, it's a talking horse. Mr. Ned, huh? Is that supposed to be a reference to Mr. Ed? Got me a fuzzy memory of a mighty pretty castle and a whole herd of people. I guess if I seen that castle again, I could maybe remember me a little mare. Uh, a little more, I mean. Right, okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna steal your mini metal. And look, there's a stairway up there. I didn't see that before. How oh, utterly fantastic. So I'm gonna look for other stuff. Other treasure. Hello. Arr! This be the Pioneeratorium. Twas built to welcome weary pioneers, like a port at the end of a long and perilous voyage. Sail on in and have yourself a look, me hearty. Arr! Alright, I'll do that in a second. Yeah, I'm just checking for 
pots and barrels here on the outside. Oh, there we go. There's some pots. And we get a seed of magic. And nothing. Alright, so there's one more chest, right? it right there. Finding a lot of these mini models. How many do I have? Uh, no, wrong one. Attributes. Party. 47. It's gotta be enough for the next reward, right? Can't remember how much I... Yeah, I can't remember how much I needed for the next one. Oh well. Yeah, I'll, I'll go down that staircase in a second. I want to check out what the hell this thing is over here. Wow, look at this place. Hello. Oh, the buttons of unlocking are as round as the sun and... Huh? Your destiny? Hi. I'm George. George McFly. I'm your density. I mean... Your density. Or whatever he says. Oof. Man. That Benadryl is starting to kick in now. <laughs> Feeling kind of drowsy. But yeah, you know what? That's the thing, though. That's the only kind of Benadryl that works. People have been telling me, Oh, you should try, like, Zyrtec, and you should try that other shit. That shit doesn't work. I've tried some of that other, like, you know, over-the-counter shit that's supposed to be non-drowsy and supposed to help with allergies. None of that shit works. Snowy? Who the hell is this guy? Right, okay. I have no idea what that's all about. Outside, over here. Anybody to talk to? Hmm. Largely empty. Check these. Yeah, alright. Alright, so that's it. I don't know what this place is going to be used for later, but there it is. A Pioneeratorium. Arr. Whoa. Yeah, use that camera centering function. Okay, there we go. That's better. Alright, let's go down here and see what what's going on. Let's see what else we can get here. Ooh, what's this? We get a fur coat. I think this is garbage. Who has it? Who has the fur coat? Speak up. Holy cow, man. And that is awful. Yep, terrible. I'm gonna have to sort my inventory again. What the hell's down here? Is this like a dungeon? Ooh. Here we go. And we get a mini metal. Huh. Graves down here, but 
Who the hell? Oh. Oh, don't don't hurt Mr. Frog. Wow, you're crazy. Uh, right. Yeah, okay. Don't eat the frog, alright? Frogs do not taste good. Yay, and we get some horse shit. That's what I always wanted. Some, I'm not even gonna bother with step guard. And we get a fire claw, which I'm guessing is for Elena. Who the hell has that shit? Go back. Go up. Yeah, this shit's for Elena. I don't know. I don't really care though. Sell it, throw it in the bag, whatever. And that is pretty much it for now. I think there might be somebody else I could recruit at this point. Johnson, or whoever the hell that is. I'm, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest IV. In the next episode, I'm going to continue my quest of building the immigrant town or boom town or whatever you want to call it. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.